Hello everyone. I think you remember in the last session we end with the VRF, right? So the next topic is very very important for interview point of view, as well as for a HVAC design engineer. You must know what is FCU, what is AHU, and what are the different types of FCU, what are the different types of AHU, so that at the time of taking the decision when we are selecting the system, this will help you. And if you want, you can please make a note of this. You see this FCU and AHU is a eight side unit and this is common for split i'm not talking about both just in general at, at this level after learning this you'll get the clear idea so if you talk about fcu and ahu you'll find in a split system ductible split vrf and the chill water system and if you talk about district cooling system district cooling system is also a chill water system but for the chill water system for a community Okay, so even for district cooling system, this is applicable. And apart from this, if you talk about the geothermal, in that case also you'll find this unit. So this unit is common almost for all the system. I'm not talking about both. For example, mm. if you talk about split system, you'll not find AHU. I'm mm. talking about mini split. If you talk about duct ductile split, then you'll find the AHU. So similarly, if I if I use if I talk about the cassette, cassette mm. itself is a cassette split system. It's a in that you'll find FCU only. There is no question of the AHU. So depend as per the type of system. So after learning this, you'll get the clear idea. And this is very, very important. So the first point you see AHU and FCU. In short, we used to call it's an air handling unit and the fan curl unit. In and both belongs to air side system. If you divide this HVC system, you can classify into three categories. One is a refrigerant system. Second is a chill water system. Third is a air side system. So refrigerant system already we discuss. You know vapor combustion cycle and we discuss with the different systems. Chill water system you'll find in district cooling system as well as in chillers, air cool and water cool in detail. And then the next is air side system. In air side system you'll find this AH and FCU. And again, if you talk about air side, air side system, you will find CAV system, VAV system, dual duct, etc. That also we'll discuss. Let me complete this. So you can find on screen. You see, FCU and AHU are both commonly used to regulate what temperature and the quality within a building. And remember, this is related to the air side system. So first, we'll talk about FCU. Then we'll deal with the AHU. Or if you compare this FCU and AHU, you can consider FCU is a smaller unit and the bigger unit of FCU or the bigger version of FCU, we can consider as AHU, just for learning point of view. But concept point of view, both belongs to air site. Both is used for cooling system or can be used for heating system, depend on the type of coil or depend on the type of system is connected to. If that FCU is connected to the chiller or the VRF, Oh, sorry, chiller means you can expect the cooling. If it is connected to the boiler, you can expect the heating. Or if it is connected to VRF system, in the last session we discussed now, if it is a heat pump, you can expect cooling or heating as per the requirement, any one at a time, or heat recovery simultaneously. So this is common. First, let me complete this FCU. So an FCU is a localized unit. Localized means we can consider as a single unit to condition air in a specific area or a zone within a building. Compare with the AHU, AHU can be used to supply the air for multiple spaces, but AHU is for one space. FCU are generally installed near the area they serve, such as wall mounted, floor or ceiling. And you already have the idea. We discussed about the split system at the time when, you know, the different types of uh, indoor, nothing but the FCU, that high wall is on the wall. We have a floor type also, I'll show you in today's session. And you know about the ceiling. Ceiling is a cassette. Example for the ceiling is a cassette. Right. So mm -hmm. here on screen, you see FCU in HV system come with the various type and configuration to suit the application and the building need. And most commonly, this FCUs as per the interior requirement or the architectural requirement. Because you see, finally, the client is looking for the good interior. So most of the time, the selection or the type of FCU is done by the interior. So they ask you to follow this a particular type of interior that suits as per the interior requirement. Okay, so most of the time in actual pra practice, you'll get this information from the architect or from the interior. In a, in a particular type of project, you need to follow this type of FCU. The system can be a different type, but here I'm talking about FCU. Okay, so it can be depend as per the building type 
layout and the specification most commonly as per the interior requirement remember at this point here you see the components what are the different components for fcu very simple if we already discussed this you know your operating coil fan heat exchanger coil it, it is a uh, evaporator here in this case if you talk about cooling if it is if you talk about heating it may be what condenser if it is a vrf system or if it is connected with the boiler so this can be a heating coil so in short in general we can call as a heat exchanger next you know the fan it is a fan casing inside you'll find the fan motor it can be two casing it can be one casing it with the one fan motor with the two fan motor depend as per the capacity and as per the configuration and as per the make also you'll find the fan motor and the filters and you see here is a cooling coil you know this with a bunch of fins these are the two fan blower in between you'll find motor with the two shafts and here in this case if it is a two pipe you can call as a two pipe fcu if it is a four pipe we have four pipe fcu i'll give you the list in the next page only the different types of fcu so this is simple you can able to understand this because from the beginning in chapter five we discuss about the different system and we did did uh, we deal with the different indoor types so you know about this fcu so we'll discuss the types but before this the major difference between the fcu and ahu as i said is the capacity so if you talk about fcu you see the capacity is up to 2000 cfm and you know what is cfm if you don't know please make a note it's a cubic feet per minute it's a unit of flow rate in english system it can be liter per second or it can be meter cube per second the detail we'll discuss at the time of ducting air site in part five sorry part four of this course so you know there's different parts as i've given the information at the beginning of the session so one more point here you can make a note one tr equal to dash cfm i think you know this 400 cfm yes 400 cfm and this is standard this may vary as per the required as per the requirement based on the calculation but if you talk about standard and for interview point of view or if you talk about equipments standard equipments designed with this flow rate one tr equal to 400 cfm so, so capacity rule of rule of thumb right on tr equal to not exactly rule of thumb you can consider this as a standard at the time of calculation you can consider this as thumb rule but for the manufacturing or for the equipment side many manufacturer considering this as standard one tr equal to 400 cfm for the for the common application not for the precise uh, misprecision air conditioning or for special type if you talk about residential commercial general application you will find the equipment with the standard flow rate for one tr equal to 400 cfm so you cannot say completely thumb rule this we get as a standard so capacity up to 2000 cfm then if you talk about residential fcus 0.5 available with 0.5 to 3 tr nothing but 200 to 1200 cfm generally fcus or hu we are considering in terms of cfm because the air side unit no? the outdoor unit condensing unit or the chiller we are considering in terms of the capacity it can be a ton or kilowatt or hp but the indoor unit generally we are considering in terms of cfm okay next if you talk about commercial 1 to 5 tr nothing but up to 4 2000 cfm may I ask an interview so remember fcus are available up to 2000 cfm okay start with the 200 very small unit next we'll talk about the different types of the fcu the list i have given i'll show you the images of each of this type you'll get the clear idea so you see the first in the list is a horizontal conceal fcu conceal means which is not visible you see what we discuss in a split system like high wall cassette freestand all comes under decorative type conceal let me show you the image you'll get the idea this is a conceal fcu you see just will connect a piece of a duct not complete ducting if the capacity increases we can deal with the ducting for the small room also but not for the multiple rooms okay so this is generally above the fall ceiling which is not visible in case with fall ceiling without fall ceiling it may be visible in case of some stores etc but in uh, hotel rooms or in residential villas this is going to be concealed and this is a supply mouth and you'll find a piece of a duct which will connect to or which will run up to gypsum board in the fall ceiling and on the gypsum board you'll find a grill and at the time of air site i'll show you more detail about the grills or the air terminals at this level just try to understand the different types so this is a horizontal conceal fcu next we have a vertical conceal again if there is no space above the fall ceiling because of some 
site condition or interior requirement we have this alternate option you see this is a vertical conceal you may find the other side of the wall and it's going to be on the floor and you see this is not decorative so it's a conceal so which is which should be should be hidden and here we can connect a piece of duct small duct and with the grill the air can supply in the space okay so but remember see. this can be connect to the dx system or it can be a chill water system all these fcus okay except some all this FCU yeah. or AHU can be a part of a DX system or can be a part of a chill water system. So don't get, don't think that this single unit will provide the cooling. The outdoor unit is required. Yes, online. What's the exact uses of this vertical concealed FCU? In case if there is no clearance about the fall ceiling because of the interior mm -hmm. requirement, we can use this one. Or else, so be, below part will be uh, below floor level. How, it, how you can find on the on the image you can consider this as a floor level or it can be used for the double height areas okay. for example consider a floor okay and this is say 20 or 30 feet height so and there is no option for and you see double height means we cannot use or there is no false ceiling for example so we'll make a partition here like this and replace the unit and a piece of a duct which will connect to the grill here and the supplier through this and there is no one reason depend on the different reason so this is one example similarly if there is no fall ceiling and the unit and uh, even the high wall or the high wall which is on the wall you know this it's not accepted by the interior or the client in that case we can use this one okay so no not commonly you would not find this commonly this is one option very, very rare you'll find this one you see here i just we're talking the different types but all will not use all the time depend on the case so you should have the solution if you know the different types then you can give the solution based on the different case the case may be because of the interior because of the space etc next everyone know about this cassette we discuss in detail the, this cassette fcu yes. right next we have a high wall you know this high wall also we discuss in detail yeah. Next, we have a ducted FCU. Ducted FCU means we can use the duct. Example, cool and don't think that ducted FCU means it is it is used to supply for multiple spaces. You know the capacity of the FCU is limited, na? Mm -hmm. so it can be for one space for even distribution of air. Okay, so you can find the unit here, and this is a canvas cloth, and which will connect to the duct. And this canvas cloth is used to reduce the vibration from the unit to the duct. And more so about this ducting site. What happened from image, for image it is not i'm not able to recognize the image. this this unit this side this uh sheet metal you can see now and mm -hmm. you can see the mouse so it's a conceal like a conceal yeah. horizontal ducted sorry conceal uh, conceal uh, horizontal what i've shown at the beginning the same unit will mm -hmm. connect with the duct for example the capacity say 3tr and mm -hmm. it's a it's a big room so in that case we can use this duct for uniform distribution so it's a ducted fcu next we have a floor modded fcu this is a decorative type this also not commonly used you see mm -hmm. very rare with a few models only and technically also it is not at all recommended to supply the air from the low levels because the cool air is dense now, in case of heating this is a good option because hot air density is less if you supply from the floor level mm -hmm. because of density as density is limited it can go up and it can heat the air heat the room but this is not at all recommended for the cooling purpose but anyhow it's an option available in market as per the requirement one can use this is a decorated type floor mounted only but decorated type compared with the previous next we have ceiling suspended fcu you see this also very rare you'll find this is almost outdated in some cases you'll find this one but it's look very odd but in some some makes you'll find this ceiling suspended also next cassette cassette is also ceiling suspended yes right? cassette also ceiling best option is a cassette this is the alternate of that in case if you know cannot use the cassette and there is no option on the wall then one can use this one so you will not find common in commonly it's not used so option next is a water chill water fcu you see chill water fcu or the dx fcu the difference is the source of the medium for example you see in case of chill water fcu this pipe is a black steel pipe and in this pipe will supply the chill water 
and that should be this should be with insulation insulation is not done here we have a separate topic for chill water system we'll discuss in detail at this level this fcu is connected with the black steel or carbon steel or nothing but this uh, low carbon steel or mild steel not copper because this this we are using to supply the chill water so this is a chill water fcu means as per the system this fcu change chill water and this uh, design also will be different compared with the refrigerant type refrigerant nothing but the dx the next you see dx this is nothing but oh. what we discuss you see this is a copper pipe and remember for dx or for chill water inside you'll find the copper piping only mm -hmm. but the connection for chill water the connecting the pipe which will connect to the unit is different and the medium the source of uh, or the medium uh, is different in case of dx refresh will supply the refrigerant in case of uh, chill water will supply the chill water next we have uh, two more four pipe and two pipe two pipe means what i explained at the beginning means but four pipe in the four pipe you will find the separate coil for heating separate for cooling so the cooling coil can be connect with the chillers and the heating coil we can connect with the boilers okay to so supply the hot water so as per the requirement one can use so we can call this as a four pipe system means two pipe for this supply in for chill water and the other is for the hot water again the model is going to be different and the two pipe two pipe what we discussed at the beginning the same so these are the different types of fcu and as i said at the beginning this fcu is common for the different system vrf chill water split ductable split etc so this is about the fcu fan curl unit in short fcu the selection of fcu as per the interior requirement or the site clearance or mostly as per the interior requirement only you will find this option many in many projects the ini initially the interior will decide the type of fcu and they they provide the information to you based on that we'll select and about the system that we'll discuss later how to how to decide the system even some in some project the system selection also as per the interior but we need to approve because we need to check the other parameters that system selection parameter will discuss that the time machine selection <laughs>